Hello, students and parents. This is Jared Linmuth. I will be teaching world history 11th grade and AP European history, which is a mix of 10th, 11th and 12th grade. I'm making my teacher introduction video here since we won't have a meet the teacher night. Um, I'm going to go over the class syllabus, uh, what programs we'll be using uh, in class and what some of the procedures are going to be with uh, the precautions with COVID-19. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen here uh, to show you what I'm primarily going to be using in class. I'm going to be using Moodle. Now I'm going to be transitioning to Microsoft uh, Teams, but in the meantime, our main program we're going to use is Moodle. And if you go to the home page here, on the website you scroll down to Moodle here on Quick Links and you click on it and you scroll down to my name, uh, Mr. Linenmuth, uh, you'll see my courses here that I teach, okay? Uh, you have 11th grade world history and AP European history. So let's, let's take a look at uh, world history first and then I'll get into AP European history. Uh, so if you click on world history, here you see Kind of a little introduction to the class. Uh, some links I have here uh, that we may use. And then each chapter we cover in class is under a block. So you see chapter one foundations of civilization is in the first block. Uh, I have all the section quizzes, which are summaries of the section. They're not actually quizzes and I have the PowerPoints. I have the homework and schedule where I post what we do every day. Uh, it's very, Moodle is very uh, user friendly. It's very easy to use and understand. Uh, but at the top here, I have the world history syllabus. So if we go to the world history syllabus, which I already have it up here, uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of the course. We're gonna cover from the beginning of civilization all the way to the French Revolution, 1789. That's a lot of world history to cover. We're gonna be covering belief systems, uh, religions, geography, politics, government. Uh, we're gonna look at historical documents, artifacts. Uh, so we'll be doing a lot in, in the classes as far as studying different cultures and civilizations that arose in the world. Um, basically from the beginning of time. It, it, it's a lot to cover, so we're going to be skipping from one part of the world to the next. Uh, I have the units of study here, the textbook we use, um, and this year is going to be a little different with uh, COVID-19. I'm going to try to do a majority of the work online, uh, meaning assignments, quizzes, tests, everything's going to be done online. I'm not going to have students hand in papers. I'm going to have them submit everything online, OK, through Moodle. Uh, I have my email address here in case you need to contact me. I have some basic class procedures. Again, these these <laughs> these are subject to change a little bit with the COVID-19 uh, uh, restrictions. Uh, I talk about the homework where I'm going to have in two places. One here on uh, the whiteboard in class and. I have a whiteboard behind me where I will be posting homework, but I also again have homework on the Moodle website uh, where they could see it under homework and schedule. So even if you're absent, you know what we have done every day because I'm going to write write that in the homework and schedule and I'll tell you what the homework is for each day. So there's uh, no excuses for students not to know what's for homework and what we did on a daily basis. If they're absent, just go to Moodle, go homework and schedule. You can see what we did for the day and kind of get an idea of what you have to make up. If I'm absent, I will post uh, a forum on Moodle. Um, bring it up here. Under the world history syllabus, I, I would have teacher absence, lesson plans for the students there uh, so they could go and make up and complete the work if they are in mega sub during my absence. Uh, there'll be an extra credit assignment every marking period. Uh, 
so there'll be an opportunity for extra credit. I believe in extra credit. Um, so we will have extra credit opportunities for each marking period, especially for students who may need it because they're on the verge of failing or students who need it to get a couple extra points to elevate their grade. Um, so we're going to have tests, quizzes, uh, different assignments and stuff we're going to uh, be doing. We're going to use the internet a lot in this course. Uh, I'm going to hand out books to students. Uh, I do not require the students to bring the books to class. Uh, I have books in the classroom here, but we are not going to use them this year for. Again, COVID-19 restrictions, so. Uh, we're going to be using our laptops a lot, so I'm going to ask the kids to make sure they bring their laptops daily. Um, some COVID-19 precautions, and this goes for AP European history too. I'm going to talk about that course next, but some basic uh, COVID-19 precautions. Uh, I will be spacing desks in the classroom to the best of my ability to separate students and provide distance. Uh, I'm not going to have any group work again. Uh, that's uh, just a precaution I want to take. Uh, again, everything's going to be submitted, completed online. I have hand sanitizer in the back of the room as, as well as a sink to wash their hands. Uh, we're required to wear a face mask inside and outside the classroom. Uh, any student exhibiting symptoms will be reported to the nurse. Uh, and I have a symptom checklist in my classroom. Uh, I'll be cleaning the desk also in between each class period with the Cintas cleaning products we were given. Uh, so I'm going to do the best, of, the best of my ability to make sure that classroom is safe for the students. Um, so that's world history. Uh, again, any questions, please. My email's right here, jlinamuth at seasd.us. So you could shoot me an email if you have any questions about the course or any of the uh, procedures, but it's all right there on the syllabus. On, and as far as AP European history, uh, we the syllabus is located on Moodle as well. If you click on AP European history course outline, uh, the course runs from the period of 1450, 1450 to the present in Europe. Uh, so we'll be covering a lot of things, uh, government politics, our art, uh, movements, revolutions. Uh, we're going to look at historical interpretation and evidence uh, and, and be doing a lot of writing. Uh, AP European history will uh, require a lot of writing. So uh units of study i have there the grading again a majority of it will be submitted online we have dbqs uh, i'll explain to the students what those are uh, come class time i have materials needed readings what the class book is and again a little bit about moodle again i'm going to make transition to microsoft teams but this year we're still using moodle um so if there are any questions or concerns about the course, uh, please don't hesitate to email me. I check my email uh, daily. So uh, welcome to World History and AP European History 2020 to 2021 school year. Thank you. Have a great day.